The project's name is Maximum and Minimum Level Sensors in uh, EasySoft 3 3.0. And let's go to the picture. The main picture here. The main picture here demonstrates the okay demonstrates here the basin which we utilize in our industry or in our chemical procedures. We have a basin here. Uh, our inputs like the maximum level sensor here is situated and the minimum level sensor here is situated. We have output, some pipes here, uh, associate the green, blue and, uh, sorry, red, blue and green pipes. Green, uh, green pipe is some substances, is maybe water or something else, uh, output 2 and output 3. These are some substances and output 1 is goes to the somewhere to avoiding water from our basement. Uh, in a short way, I would like to underlink that the output one, uh, 2 and the output 3 fills the basement, basin and the output 1 reduces the water or the avoids the water from basin. And maximum and minimum level sensor illustrates here the position of the water. Okay. Let's just, it's a theoretical side, and let's just uh, make the real program in uh, EasySoft 3. Okay, for this we need the first output, uh, sorry, input. Input is our maximum level sensor. Where is our picture? Let's open the our picture again. Okay, the picture is situated here, yep. Okay, firstly we need the uh, I1, it's a maximum level sensor here. It illustrates the water levels is maximum and it will uh, stop the output 3 and output 2 and will start the output 1 and will avoid the water here let's start first to do this and click in here I type the out input 1 then the draw the output here it will start the output 1 it will start output 1 firstly ok output 1 and here our uh, button is push button that's why I have to draw here the output one again it's a, like a feedback okay then uh, let's uh, run it and when I press it oh I'm sorry it's just not the output one it's must yes I typed input one it's output one sorry for it yep and let's run it I typed gonna be start yes so let's draw the another side like the when we uh, type the, uh, when our le water level sensor uh, maximum level se uh, sensor activated and when we have the maximum level of water it would start the output one and stop the output three and two and uh, water will avoiding 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 and reduce it become the uh, levels uh, minimum level and our input to minimum level sensor will activate it and it's gonna stop the output one and start the output three and output two here let's make it and here we have the output two uh, sorry input two and draw the outputs here the first output two and similar output three okay and here must be output 2 or output 3 doesn't matter for the being time output 2 or output 3 I choose output 2 let's start it and first thing I'm going to do the start output 1 and output ok it start but uh, how about the stopping work I'm going to see it like the it start and st not stop for this we need the output 1 here but in a inverse position it's a button but inverse and also input to here in inverse okay let's start again and when we have the maximum level here okay it stop start to uh, here the activate the output one and when uh, water reduces become the minimum level and when we have the uh, when we have the active minimum level and our uh, minimum level seven activated now I'm pressing activated it's going to stop the output one start to uh, filling the water basin with water or other substances 
that's important that but uh, in case of we can easily add here the other buttons for who will stop the working of our procedure it's important when we have this procedures add here just we need to add here buttons only okay okay button in reverse button 3 it's important just the same input here for example let's start it okay just type it something and something like this let's start the button 3 it stop let's start the button 3 it stop and okay it just work and it's important to utilize it in chemical procedures in homes if we have the base or something else it's easy way